Welcome to my first ever time driving on the left side of the road. I already messed up with the pedals. Gas and brake, also different. Noted. We're moving. And we're on the road in Malaysia. Okay, I have to get a little bit used to the gas and the brakes here. A little practice. Gas, brake, gas. Got it. So it took me about 10 minutes to realize, but it turns out that the gas pedal and the brake pedal are actually on the same side as when you're driving on the other side of the car. <laughs> I don't know why, it felt very intuitive. I was like, oh, this isn't so hard, but it's because they're the same. <laughs> Where did we just arrive to? We have a live music show. Hello. <laughs> this bridge moves a lot. It's a real suspension bridge. So we are about halfway to Kinabalu Park and we decided to stop off and check out this suspension bridge. It's over this beautiful river and surrounded by just lush jungle. And it's very cool because it's way more wobbly than we expected and it's actually a lot of fun to walk around. We're gonna walk to the other side. Try not to fall off. See this? <laughs> it's <Yeah>. crazy. <laughs> we did not expect this. I'm sure it's safe. Yeah. I swear I'm not moving the camera. It's just, there's wobbly. Say bye. <laughs> bye. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. See you. <laughs> this is everywhere. It was the best. I love Malaysians. There's two of us. Uh, ten ringgit. Uh, your name, sir? Uh, my name is Gordon. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Happy holiday. Thank yep. you. Bye-bye. Guys, welcome to Borneo's famous dairy farm. <laughs> So somewhere in the clouds behind us, I think, is uh, Mount Kinabalu, which, fun fact, is the tallest mountain in Southeast Asia. And the temperature up here is nice and cool. I think they call it the New Zealand of Borneo or of, of Malaysia. I don't know. I'm but wearing my denim jacket. She's got a denim jacket. Yeah. But they imported all these Frisian cows, which is awesome because I love Dutch Frisian cows. <laughs> and she's like, they're famous for their chocolate milk. So we have to go in, explore a little bit, drink some chocolate milk. Gordon's Dutch. Give some rave That's reviews. Yeah, my family's Dutch. <laughs> But how funny is this? In the middle of Borneo. And we'll get to have some fresh ice cream, fresh chocolate milk, hopefully feed some baby cows. What an afternoon.
Hold on, just a small chocolate milk, please. Time for the taste test. That's his famous chocolate milk. The results. The results. I have a confession to start the results. I already knew about Dessa and their famous chocolate milks. So we picked some up from the grocery store the other day. I must say, sorry Borneo and Malaysians, it's not my favorite chocolate milk. Chocomel from the Netherlands, by far number one. It's just like, it's not super chocolatey. What the heck? It's still pretty good though. It's also not better at the source. It tastes the same as from the supermarket, but it's still good. I'll drink it. It's chocolate milk. Let's see what frozen yogurt, fresh frozen yogurt tastes like. Tastes, tastes like. It's very milky. It's very nice. It's not that sweet. It's like really good frozen yogurt. Worth it. Freeze your mind. <laughs> Worth a two and a half hour drive? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Very nice here, look at this. Aymara has died and gone to heaven. You can pet the baby. You can pet the baby cows. <laughs> look at these cute faces. Oh my gosh. We just picked a little bottle and now we can pick the bottle. Oh, it's a hungry cow. Good job. Good job. Does this remind you of Albania? Oh my gosh, I'm so happy I don't have to milk it. <laughs> <laughs> It does remind me of Albania. Yeah, good job. Oh, you're drinking it. Oh, you're so good. I love her. <laughs> this is also less terrifying than Kruja. Give us the update. Imana is hidden on the side of the road. Oh, it's so yummy. <laughs> Is this so yummy? Your turn. My turn. Here you go, little friend. Oh, he licked me. Oh. <laughs> you guys are good, huh? That is cow groom. They're cute, it's okay. It's right on the mic though, I can't watch the mic. <laughs> huh? Just cow kisses. Let me dry it off with my shirt. <laughs> It's raining. Hide the camera. Of course it's raining. How do you feel now about driving on the other side of the road? Uh, I feel like I'm getting the hang of it when it's just like a simple part of the road. <laughs> Watch out. <laughs> then I have nothing to worry about. I just follow the cars in front of me. But as soon as there's like an intersection or I need to go around a roundabout or merge, then... You guys are moving a lot. But so far, so good. It's been crazy. It's the roundabouts. I 
get very very confused but when we're just cruising I feel like I'm in a self-driving car because it is super weird <laughs> to sit on the other side of the car and not drive but it's kind of cool time for lunch oh, I'm excited to eat it's time to warm up the soul Usually this place would be lunch with a view, but the cloud cover has kind of rolled in. Hopefully it gets a little bit better. You can put the drone up, see what it looks like. Still a beautiful spot though. Hello. Malay, you know? No Malay. Okay, 50 one person. 50 per person? Yeah. Okay, pretty expensive. Much? Can I pay with credit card or just cash? Uh, uh, card? Yes, card? Yes. Oh. Let's see, what's it? This is ten dollars. Maybe it's ten dollars. Yeah. Okay, get information first. Okay, thank Please you. Over there behind. Sure, thank you. Fully noted. <laughs> that was like twelve dollars. The sun is sort of out, and the views. We're starting to see some views, guys. The heavens opened up. I think we can see the top of Mount Kinabalu. I think that's it. Let's show you. It's not like a peak. It's more like a plateau. Points it. Mm. There? Sort of. <laughs> <laughs> so we made it to Kinabalu Park. And this seems to be like hiker's paradise. There are so many different trails. They also have multi-day hikes to hike Mount Kinabalu, but I think you have to book those in advance and like they only have like a certain amount of permits that they issue. But right now we're doing one of the smaller walks. There's a lot of like bird watchers. There's also lodges here. I think it's mostly for hikers, but it is a very peaceful place. It's very green. It's very lush. For right now there's just a motorbike and that wasn't that peaceful, but it is very nice. He is yeah, in your heaven. favorite bird watcher right here. <laughs> and two days ago we were at Mamutik and we were fish watching, bird watching. Borneo is paradise. Oh, but very nice, but mm -hmm. a little bird. I saw it too. I don't know what it was. We have to whisper now. Today has us really excited for what's coming next. We'll see you guys in Sandakan.